Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. I have a really good topic today. I am going to discuss whether or not HGH makes you huge. But before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there that's supporting and watching the channel. Uh, just amazing support, humbling. I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't yet, please like, sub, share, comment, Anything that you can do to interact with the channel, it's going to help the channel grow and it's going to allow me to produce more and more content for you each and every day. Also, today's video is sponsored by our great friends at letsgetcheck.com. Now, letsgetcheck.com specializes in at-home blood testing. All you have to do, go to the website, letsgetcheck.com, pick out whatever test that you want to order, and they have it all for men and women. They've got full hormonal panels, wellness panels, sexual health, Anything and everything you can think of, it's on there. Pick out whatever you want, order it. Coupon code JAMELLI30 will save you 30% off your entire order. They're going to ship you the kits. All you have to do is get online, register the kits, and then return your sample. You're going to get results extremely fast. They have doctors and nurses there to answer all of your questions and concerns about your blood work. It's fast. It's reliable. It's efficient. Let's get checked.com. Coupon code JAMELLI30 is going to save you 30% off. All right, so... Let us discuss whether or not HGH is going to get you huge, make you a mass monster, turn you into Mr. Olympia, and every other nonsensical thing that I hear people say out there. For the longest time, and, and a lot of this, I'm going to blame on the media, which, shit, we can blame a lot on, but that's an entirely different topic I'm not even going to touch. But in this regard, this is how we blame it on the media to start with. So if you think back to the steroid era in baseball, when HGH really was getting talked about the most, What's the main thing that they start talking about? Oh, they're taking HGH and it's making them huge. It's making them hit home runs. It's making them do this, it's making them do that. Negative, 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 negative. The reason that they were taking HGH, a lot of them, was to help them heal faster and to get over injuries, especially pitchers that were trying to recover from arm injuries. That was the main use. They were using steroids, Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Rafael Palmeiro, the list goes on and on and on. To hit home runs, to get strong. Mix HGH and steroids together and you're getting the whole damn shebang. But don't kid yourself. That's part of the reason of where it started and it just progressively got worse in terms of the misconceptions about how it makes you just this Mr. Olympia mass monster. If you take HGH on its own, no steroids, nothing else, no test, nothing. Just take HGH on its own. Take it for a year and tell me how much mass and size you get and then come talk to me. You're going to absolutely be able to gain lean muscle. That's not what I'm saying. So don't misunderstand or mix the words. I am not in any way, shape, or form indicating that you're not going to gain a little bit of muscle mass with it. But if you think you're going to gain 10, 15, 20 pounds on HGH alone, you clearly have a very, very, very strong misconception or have been misled by somebody somewhere, somehow. Because that is not going to happen. Now, you run HGH with even just test, yeah, it's going to, because it just, it really brings out the, the synergy there between the two. So, maybe it, it'd be easier if I just gave a quick little understanding on something here. So, how exactly does HGH affect your muscle growth? So, it, it can do it directly and indirectly. So, the direct effects are kind of conveyed because of the stimulation and the production of IGF-1 within your tissue. So... I, I haven't done technically my IGF video yet, but I will do that. But just quickly, IGF-1, in a nutshell, it's the main mediator of the anabolic effects of the growth hormone. So that is why HGH stimulates IGF-1 production in almost all tissues. And your skeletal muscles are not an exception here. All right. So it can actually have an indirect effect by stimulating the production of IGF-1 in the liver. So, the, excuse me, the liver is going to then release the mediator within your bloodstream and it's gonna provide an additional anabolic stimulus to your tissues. So, I've read different research on this and looked into it and some of it suggests that both your like circulating and locally produced IGF-1 are going to affect muscle growth. So. It really does this by sort of changing the balance that's going on between muscle protein synthesis 
and uh, muscle protein uh, breakdown. So in a nutshell, these processes are going to occur constantly in your skeletal muscles and the result there is going to determine whether or not you grow or lose muscle. So from your IGF-1, HGH is going to actually appear to reduce protein breakdown and what it's going to do from there is increase synthesis at the same exact time and that in itself is what's going to help to preserve a positive balance and that's going to stimulate your muscle growth. However, studies suggest that people you know that are using HGH may have this stimulation you know when they're experiencing like an increased protein breakdown for example so this is going to be chronically ill patients that are suffering from like growth hormone deficiency so I, I read a few studies on this they were long term um, and and they were about 10 to 15 years of HGH replacement and that led to a significant increase in both muscle mass and lean body mass in these patients that were suffering from, you know, the the lack of growth hormone. But research on people that don't have that problem and are pretty healthy individuals doesn't show anything like that at all. I mean, some of the small studies that I looked at, you know, they showed an increase in synthesis, but there was no effect in like their acute HGH administration. So what a lot of places will kind of lead you to believe is that you're going to get just massive on it. A lot of these anti-aging clinics will throw out some false facts or things, things like that. But a lot of it is just people like on forums, people in the media. And it just, it's troubling to me that people don't like look into things a little bit more and, and read more and study more and look at things on their own. They just take people's words for it. And then they either get let down, get themselves hurt, have over or under expectations. Um, it, 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 a lot of things that I looked at too, and this is not just from personal experience and use, but looking into the studies, most people don't even really start to see any sort of lean muscle growth until like two to three months in. And for some people, it's even longer. And, and so you that, that's another thing that you have to understand. You're going to see a lot more muscle growth with HGH if you're HGH deficient. But if you're not HGH deficient, then you're really not going to see that much. You're, it, it's, HGH is, is, is mainly like this. It kind of goes in stages. You're going you're gonna to see improvement in sleep. You're going to see improvement in hair, skin, nails, you know, things like that. That's why it's called a fountain of youth drug. Then you're going to start to see some fat loss over time. Then you're going to start to see some lean muscle. Well, guess what? The more lean muscle that you that you're able to obtain, the more fat you're going to lose. It all goes hand in hand. So I just don't like these misconceptions and these misunderstandings and people thinking that something that's not there. HGH does a million things. And that's why it's so expensive. And I am not sitting up here and saying it's bad. It doesn't work. It's no good. All I'm saying is, it's not this big, huge, mass monster builder. You're not going to turn into Mr. Olympia with it. That is not the case. If you stack it with other steroids and you're running it on, say, like a pre-competition cycle, absolutely is it going to do a lot for you. Absolutely. Just understand, HGH takes time. You got to be patient with it. And, and it can do a lot. But don't think for one instance, ran on its own, that you're going to just put on 10, 15, 20 pounds unless you have some sort of deficiency. And that is it. So misconceptions are the things that I try to clear up and explain thoroughly. And so you always have reference points to go back on. Them. So there you have it. That being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.